Can you see that we're moving into something that we weren't in before? His glory makes me substantial in a way I wasn't before. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrock. Thank you for joining heaven. us. If Jesus this is your first time here, right. make sure you subscribe. If this Holy isn't your first time here God and these the messages are day. blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. There is a victory over all the issues of the world for you. Without having to describe them all, you know they're there, but there's victory. Say there's victory. there's victory there's victory over all of them it's not in an argument it's in a presence acts chapter 4 verse 13 now when they saw the boldness of peter and john and they took knowledge of them that they had been with jesus so it wasn't about their great knowledge or their their ability to speak things it was that they had been with jesus but i'm not talking about jesus jesus is not here mm -hmm. see you think i'm talking about jesus i'm not talking about jesus i come up to the edge of these things so many times and i think am i supposed to be on the edge of this yes you're supposed to be on the edge of it Say, I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be on, the edge of it. on the edge of it. I'm not talking about Jesus. I'm talking about the one that Jesus sent. Amen. Who's the one Jesus sent? Holy the Holy Ghost. Jesus is not here. He went away and sent another. John chapter 6, verse 29. And Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that you believe on him whom he hath sent. Who is the one Jesus sent? Holy the Holy Ghost. We, in our day, are supposed to be believing on him mm -hmm. whom Jesus has sent. This is different. You see, I begin to believe on him him who holy. him the Holy Ghost see a lot of people don't have this knowledge that we're presenting to you even this evening and so they can't believe on him that Jesus has sent they've been blocked by their religious doctrine not able to go on to where we've gone and are going you know there's more right mm -hmm. I began to believe on him say began. began it's a beginning can you see that when you begin to believe on him this is the work of God and there's more work to be done I began to know him in a new way a way I didn't know him before mm -hmm. right that's a new that's what a new way means it's new it's a new way that I didn't know before second corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is or where the spirit is lord there is liberty mm -hmm. a kind of liberty a kind of freedom that you couldn't have without knowing him as the spirit lord say knowing him, knowing him. As, the spirit lord. as the spirit lord and that's a new way of knowing him you begin to believe on him in a new way that you didn't before i have a relationship now knowing this with god that i didn't have before i have a relationship with god the holy ghost the spirit lord that i didn't have before mm -hmm. even though i was saved even though i believed i had a home in heaven when i died mm -hmm. and even though i did a lot of christian like things 
i still didn't know him in this way that i've begun and began to know him all those other things that i was doing and knowing and believing were all jesus centric but if you go down this road say this road, this road. or as i like to say enter into this room the room of holy ghost worship it's a room you enter into by worshiping the holy ghost if you go down this road you enter into this room you begin to know him as the spirit lord now the lord is that spirit are you here yes. it's different it's completely different and if you go down this road you enter into this room the lord of spirits begins to appear and reveal himself over time as the protagonist of the bible he begins to show up where before he was hidden revealed now as the protagonist of the bible are you here yeah. a lot of people don't like this that's too bad remember jesus said there were things you couldn't know until the holy ghost came and then he said when he say he, he. when he is come he will teach you how many things oh. all things which means until he has come you couldn't even know the very beginning things which means listen which means when he comes and you acknowledge him the one that jesus sent then you can begin to know all things that means the beginning things mm -hmm. and things begin to change for you a complete flip takes place in your thinking <laughs> now i understand and don't accuse me of not believing certain things i believe certain fundamental things more than you do and we would not be where we are today say today, today. without the foundation without the word being made flesh and dwelling among us Amen. without jesus bearing our sins on the cross mm -hmm. and his death burial and resurrection on the third day but it wasn't just him being raised from the dead he was raised from the dead but then he was raised from the earth and then seated at the right hand of the throne of god where he is to this very day which means he's still there and from there he sent another to be with us who's the another that be with us the holy ghost which indicates jesus is not the one that be with us right. jesus shall return say shall. shall what does shall mean in the in the future he shall return well that's not today he is not here but he sent one to be with us and that's where we are today get that straight hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of christ let us go on unto perfection not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards god let us go on not laying again the foundation and if there's one thing that the church could be accused of is laying the foundation again mm -hmm. and again right. and laying the foundation again and again mm -hmm. over and over laying it again the foundation mm -hmm. doing that equals not going on here we're instructed to go on not laying the foundation again laying the foundation again means not going on no oh, i don't like it that way well then you don't like this mm -hmm. verse three and this we will do 
you have to be willing to do it this we will do if God permit and who is the God that permits or doesn't permit the Holy, Ghost. Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today and I'm telling you he permits many things to the Holy Ghost worshiper that he won't allow to other people I have found that to be true and the Holy Ghost is God and therefore you must worship him say I must, I must worship, worship, him. worship him God is the spirit they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth those who don't worship him are destined to go around and around the desert again rebuilding the same foundation over and over and over in perpetuity they will never know the glory of the Holy Ghost Spirit Lord now the Lord is that spirit and he says I will destroy most churches hey at chapter 2 verse 9 the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former saith the Lord of hosts or also you could say the Lord of spirits mm -hmm. the Spirit Lord and in this place will I give peace saith the Lord of spirits he is the one that gives it he is glorious say he, he is, is glorious. glorious who is the, the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord the Lord of Spirits you cannot experience the glory of Jesus he is not present you can experience the glory of God the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord he is present and it's not so much that you know him as much as it is that he knows you mm. when we're talking about the glory of the Lord if you worship him he knows who you are are you here yeah. say if I worship him if I worship him he knows who I am, he knows who I am. and it's not so much that you know him because your knowledge is limited but it's that he knows you you know people would say oh well you must know the Holy Ghost really well well I would say I know the Holy Ghost in a way that most people don't know him but when you get to know him you realize how much you really don't know in 2nd Corinthians 3 18 it says we behold him and his glory and are changed from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord we're changed by seeing him and beholding him and this glory causes you to think differently is this true mm -hmm. do you think differently now than you used to think I guarantee you I do his glory that you behold causes you to think differently you become conscious of something else it's like waking up from a dream or waking up from a deep sleep you become aware of something you weren't before Hebrews chapter 10 verse 2 that the worshipers say worshipers the worshipers once purged should have had no more conscience of sins now this is dealing with a whole a whole slew of other things but the fact here is your consciousness changes you think differently mm -hmm. the worshipers think differently say the worshipers, the worshipers think, differently. think differently so if you don't worship the Holy Ghost as God you can't think this new way you won't think differently you'll think the same the Holy Ghost says I create the new I'm always walking in a new form of creation every step I take is more substantial than the one before can you see that we're moving into something that we weren't in before 
which requires a new thinking his glory makes me substantial his glory makes me substantial in a way i wasn't before his glory makes me substantial in a way i wasn't before say his glory, his glory makes, me makes me substantial, substantial. In, a way in a way i wasn't before, I wasn't before which means if the church isn't going here they can't be made substantial in this way in this glory of the spirit lord isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1 arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon thee the glory of what lord the spirit lord it's not the glory of jesus do you hate me now no it can't be the glory of jesus it's the glory of the one jesus sent the glory of the lord now the lord is that spirit and we behold him and his glory changes us from one glory to the next glory mm -hmm. arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of the lord the spirit lord is risen upon thee get that straight do most people have this straight not even close verse 2 for behold the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people that sounds about right mm -hmm. but the lord shall arise upon thee jesus no the spirit lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee does that make you substantial yes. mm -hmm. more substantial than you were before in fact verse 3 and the gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising sounds pretty good mm -hmm. his glory shall be seen and it makes you substantial knowing him the spirit lord the holy ghost worshiping him walking with him i will be more substantial than they are say I will, be I will be more substantial, more substantial than, they are. than they are they who well they the Gentiles and the Kings but also the church who refuses to go here they don't like this message very much I will be more substantial than they are Haggai chapter 2 verse 8 the silver is mine the gold is mine saith the Lord of hosts the lord of spirits the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former more substantial greater say more substantial more substantial the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former and in this place will i give peace says the lord of spirits but he, he prefaced this by saying what some of that substance would be the silver is mine the gold is mine say the silver is mine the gold is mine the glory is mine now listen everyone in this room what room the room of holy ghost worship you who worship the holy ghost you shall be and live in more substance and be more substantial than the former house am i making this up i feel like i just read that out of scripture mm -hmm. the glory of this latter house will be greater you need to get your mouth on that say the silver is mine the, silver is mine. the gold is mine the, gold is mine. the glory of this latter house shall be greater shall be greater so everyone in this room listen wealth and riches shall be in your house say wealth, wealth. And, riches and riches shall be, shall be in, my house. in my house thank you holy ghost for blessing these people and the glory of this latter house shall prove to be far greater and more substantial than the former house 
and greatness and increase shall come to you as you worship me says the Spirit Lord and make sure you give me credit and put my words in your mouth and watch as things begin to change all around you and it shall come to pass quickly says the Spirit Lord we worship you Holy Ghost we thank you for it in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost I worship you you are the Lord of Spirits I thank you for the work you're doing in this day you are increasing me substantially and I give you the glory and praise in Jesus name amen the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God